Do you think it looks like he's still gonna go for it though? Oh, Didn't like what now. he saw. Needed some more time to think about it. Fourth and six. Let's see what he dials up. You gotta expect some type of slant post combo, maybe a crossing route, corner route. You watch the tight end. I think he's one of the most important ingredients to Fancy's offense. Air McLaurin moves to the left side. Three men rush, on, taking a shot. It's well covered by oh DRC. Oh, McLaurin says, I don't stick. care. That's you can't stick. cover me. Balls, to man. the house oh, for to touchdown, touch Terry. Too Such a close yeah. play. What is up, YouTube? My name is Cody. I want to welcome you to today's video. And uh, we're going to be breaking down just exactly how Fancy was able to complete that absolute laser over the top of Kerry Q's defense in a very critical fourth down early on in the game that really was able to kind of get him out and get him jump started on the offensive side of the ball. Now, if you've never been to my YouTube channel before, my channel is designed to help you get better at Madden 21. We do this through uploading tips and tricks videos just like this one, um, as well as several other things where we learn either from things that we've practiced on our own or we've learned from the pros and learn from what they're doing and share some of the insights as they play this game a ton and they have some really really amazing insights that you can learn i believe one of the best ways to learn and get better at madden is through watching people who are better than you and actually trying to understand what they're doing and why they're doing it so we're going to break down this route combination that uh fancy used in the um in the Cowboys Club Championship, and this was a great route combination. Now, now uh, we are in the Las Vegas Raiders playbook, and you don't have to be in that playbook, um, but Fancy loves this trip tight end formation. And we're actually going to flip this formation because as a general rule for trips tight end, Fancy likes to run this to the wide side of the field. Now, real quick, before we go any further, um, I do have some really, really good material on how to stop or combat trips tight end, a little bit of a defense for it um, in my text message membership. So if you want to get that uh, defense for trips tight end, all you got to do is just shoot me a text message. It's 100% free. And what we do every single week is we break down – something exclusive to our text message members. Nobody else gets access to the material. Just people that have joined our text message uh, membership get those uh, videos. And basically, we go in-depth on something, whether it be trips tight end defense or last week we did a split close pats mini scheme um, or we did a gun bunch guide the week before that. We did a big nickel over G run defense. And normally these are like 45 minutes to an hour and a half long. Really dive in depth in the game. So if you really want to look at something that could potentially help you get better, I would highly encourage you to just shoot me a text message and let me know that you are interested or that you'd like to receive our text message membership. That's all you got to do, and I'll shoot you the videos. All right, so the play that he calls uh, from Gun Trips Tied In is this play inside cross. Now, he's going to call it flipped because, as a general rule, he likes to run his trips tied into the wide side of the field. And just so happened that in this specific scenario, the ball was on the left hash mark of the, of the defense. So we're going to go inside cross. Now, Kerry Q is going to come out, and he is going to run basically a max coverage defense out of the man-to-man. -man. So what we're going to do is we're going to sub in a safety at linebacker here just to get a little bit better coverage. But he's going to run essentially cover one robber flipped, and he's going to base or uh, man line press shade coverage outside, shade coverage over top. And then what you're going to see from Carey is he's going to drop some underneath zones to try to take away some of the crossing routes, some of the corner routes, some of the things that um, some of the things that Fancy uh, really wanted to get. So some just underneath zones basically, um, and then dropping his user obviously over the middle of the field uh, so within that you know you had some different man up assignments on that running back so that he could take this guy right here and basically user the middle of the field uh, with this player right in here okay so what that's going to do in the route combination that fancy is going to go to is again this is a fourth and sixth first drive of the game if fancy doesn't get this for conversion it's actually really really bad for him because carry q is going to be already in scoring range and he gets ball at half so what you're going to see uh, in this critical moment, Fancy's going to go to this route combination from inside cross. And what he's going to do is he is going to place the outside wide receiver on a smart route. So it's going to shorten and narrow the post route. As you can see, it's going to turn it into a little bit more of a shallow post route. Next thing he's going to do is he's going to place his tight end on a post route. He's going to take that middle slot receiver take him and put him on a flat route to pull any of those um, underneath zones out of the way and kind of open the middle of the field up. He's then going to take that left side uh, inside slot receiver on that the, the closest receiver to the line of scrimmage, and he's going to put him on a slant route. 
and then his running back, he's going to put him on a flat route to the left side of the field. And this is the basic route combination that he's going to go with. Now, what he's going to do is he's going to motion Tyreek Hill over. And if there's no safety over the left side, if there's no deep half safety, what he's going to do pretty easy is he's just going to go and throw it up over the top. As soon as his wide receiver is even, he's leaving. And as you can see, Tyreek Hill is going to torch that. Now, the key stat that you need to know for this is this will work if you don't necessarily have to have a fast guy. What you need is a guy that has over 90 deep route running. So if you have someone on your team that has over 90 deep route running, this route is going to work wonders for you. Wonders for you, okay? So um, real quick here, we'll drop some underneath zones once again, and we'll just kind of show you uh, what you know what you what what Carrie was probably doing. Set these like these little under underneath zones to be able to take away some of this underneath stuff. And had he you know maybe played a cover two man, a traditional cover two man with that deep half over the top left. Then what you would have seen from Fancy here is he would have checked down to these over the middle routes. He would have either hit the crossing route. Um, or he would have hit this slant route had, uh, again, had carry, uh, had carry jumped into like a man coverage with two high safeties, then it would have, you know, kind of forced, um, kind of forced him to do something like this. I'm sorry. I accidentally, accidentally called the wrong, uh, route combination, of course, and nothing worked, but what you'll see here is, um, from cover to man again, I'm going to go to inside cross. I think I accidentally audible to something or, or did something wrong, but basically get the flat zone out there, get the slant out there, get the post on the field and then get that running back on that flat route. And what you're going to see is if he goes just straight cover to man, then you're going to have multiple things that are going to be wide open. Uh, as you can see here, I'm able to hit that post route to the tight end and that would have kept the sticks, kept the chains moving. But what Kerry is able to do, because he doesn't go with any deep safety over the middle, he's just playing an underneath coverage to basically try to be able to take away, um, to, to try to be able to take away some of these over the middle routes. He ends up catching him in this in this coverage right here. And basically, once that smart route of post gets even with that corner, he's going to be over the top, as you can see right there. So that is how... Um, Fancy was able to torch Carey's man-to-man defense over the top for an absolute laser in a critical moment um, in the club championship game, Cowboys club championship game against Carey Q. So um, if you want more uh, tips like this, if you want more content like this, just let me know uh, by clicking that subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Like I said, we post four videos a day here on YouTube, one at 2 o'clock, one at 4 o'clock, one at 6 o'clock, and one at 8 o'clock Eastern every single day. We've got more material coming from the club series. We had a lot of really, really good games to study, a lot of really, really great players, and a lot of really great storylines um, as we head out of the NFC East, which is one of the most powerful uh, divisions, at least in my opinion. You got Goes, you got Fancy, you got uh, Henry, and then you got Evil O, who's no slouch either, um, as he you know had a really, really good victory against Matt. So, uh, anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you have not already joined our Discord, there's a link to do that in the description. If you want to join our text message membership like i said it's 100 percent free uh, all you gotta do is just text me let me know and then i can get you those exclusive videos um but yeah inside cross from trips tight end phenomenal play it's also in the patriots playbook which we right now are currently writing a comprehensive ebook on the patriots playbook spanning over not just the trips tight end but every single formation in the patriots playbook like the ace slot offset the u trips the gun bunch the split close the five wides to mix into your trips tight end so if you're interested in picking up that ebook go ahead and shoot me a text message and i can let you know whenever we release it all right guys we will see you in our next video later this afternoon